welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's doing good today. It's Saturday, September 28th. Currently it's 66 degrees. High today 75. Chance of rain 7% and winds at 9 mile per hour. Speaking of winds, boy, uh, they said it was supposed to start yesterday morning about 4 in the morning. And, you know, I kept looking at the radar, and, and I said, you know, it's, it's, you could see it, you know, the, the hurricane, and uh, it just didn't seem very close or anything, and nothing really happened. Uh, I mean, I was up for a while uh, wondering if, if we were going to get high winds and stuff, and uh, it, nothing ever happened. I, I fell asleep, and then uh, about... The next, you know, in the more in the afternoon, about twelve, or no, it started. The wind started up before that. I mean, it was it was raining. Now it was raining a lot the night before, but not as much wind. And the wind was awful. I mean, I went out there and it about knocked me up over. And uh, I looked. That's that's that thing defrosting. Uh, I looked out the window back that way where that like valley is that runs down through there and there's stuff everywhere uh, some big limbs but tons of leaves with small sticks on them uh, a lot of that stuff we can just run right over with the mower but uh, it's going to take me a long time to clean up uh, uh, the stuff that does need taken to the road um, so and then you know we we had to go to Kroger and uh on the way there and on the way back we saw more trees trees down in people's yards and one had uh you know hit landed on the, the roof of this house and you could see damage you know you could see the gutter was pulled off and you could see some wood that was like you know broken like splinted splinters sticking out and all this and that you know just jagged pieces sticking out so they definitely had some damage. Uh, uh, most of the trees that we saw that have been down uh, didn't actually hit anything, luckily, in most people's yards. And I'm really surprised this, this one that's partially dead back here didn't uh, fall. You know, it's, it's an ash tree, and I spoke about it before. They're very hard wood. You know, that's what they make baseball bats out of. So it's just the wood's still really hard I guess instead of it, like you know rotting or whatever but there's plenty to clean up I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done um, and we, we were behind on the yard because it's been raining and before that it didn't rain so it didn't need mowed and then it ra rains and it keeps raining and you can't mow it when it's wet so the yards are in a little bit of a mess right now you know so I'll be glad when it's time for not to mow anymore for the winter. Uh, so anyway, um, we're supposed to mow as much as we can today. Uh, so we're going to do Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews on Sunday. Because uh, I'll just be, t you know, too tired. Uh, Joy will be too tired to fix anything, you know. And I won't even feel, we won't even feel like going and getting anything. Uh, so, uh you know, we're just going to take it easy afterwards. I don't know what that noise was. Um, so, yeah, so so I'm going to do the Kroger haul today. And then Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews tomorrow. Uh, it's not, not anything, that, uh, you know, with Logan, you know, he's not hurt or anything. Like, it's just because we have too much to do. Too much to do will be too tired, you know, everything, so... Anyway, uh, tonight, and I don't even know if I'm going to feel like fixing them, uh, we're either going to have cheeseburgers and fries or that pizza. I hadn't decided yet. just depends on how I feel. If I feel okay enough to uh, make the cheeseburgers and stuff, I will. If not, I'm going to put that pizza in the oven. Yeah. I guess that'll be it. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, the Kroger Hall. It's a it's a small hall. It's here at the end of the month. I didn't want to get a bunch of stuff. We didn't we didn't need a bunch of stuff. So, but it got some good things in it and some good deals too. Okay, let's see what the jokes look like. Yeah, there's people a lot worse off uh, than us. Uh, our daughter up in Ohio, we're in Tennessee, of course, Northeast Tennessee, and uh, her power's been out, but uh, I don't know if it's on, back on yet or not. But, um, and then uh, my brother, he, he was renting uh, a house, and um, it flooded. It flooded. Um, area that he, he lives in is, is bad for that you know I mean it was more likely to flood let's put it that way than other places and uh, so he's got to find a place to stay you know another place as he says just ruin <laughs> okay um, let's see yeah okay why can't towels tell jokes because they have a dry sense of humor Okay, how about this? A forester often has to consult property owners to determine boundary lines. Walking up a dirt road to question one such individual, a forester encountered signs that read, no trespassing, beware of dog, and keep out, this means you. Finally arriving at the door, he talked with a congenial, cooperative landowner. When he was ready to leave, the man said to him, come and see me again sometime. I don't get many visitors up this way. I wonder why. <laughs> They'd be afraid they're going to be shot or something. But they, they, whoever wrote this, they put it wrong at the end. Uh, it says, here's what it says, and I, I changed it to where it made more sense. It says, when my husband was ready to leave, the man said to him, come and see me again sometime. I don't give any visitors up this way. That, that can't be right because... Uh, it didn't mention a wife, and I'm sure it's not saying he has a husband. Uh, that part didn't make any sense at all, so I just said when he was ready to leave, the forester that was talking to him, and that made much more sense. But you know, I just think it might have messed up on that somehow. Uh, thought of the day is from Franklin D. Roosevelt. The, on the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, now let's see what I had here for trivia time. Where did it go? Okay, maybe this one might be. It says, prove your brain power. Play the quiz on education and famous schools. Hopefully this won't be one of the real easy ones. Which word do psychologists use to describe information processing? Cognition, personality, perception, unconscious. Oh, look, he's, he's uh, processing some information. He's unconscious. <laughs> I think that's cognition. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, an information processing model is a framework used by cognitive psychologists to explain and describe the processes of the human brain. Cognition is the third part of the information processing model. Hmm. Okay. Which league describes the top universities in the U.S.? <clears throat> I, think, I think everybody might know this. Holly, Oak, Ivy, Beach. Well, I've always heard of the Ivy League. Yes. Ivy League schools are considered to be the most prestigious of all colleges in the United States. Okay. Which of these educational stages comes after middle school in the U.S. Oh, come on. That's that's too easy. After middle, middle school, everybody knows you go to high school. I'm not using that one. 
next question. I don't know. I mean, uh, if you don't have any kids, you might not know this or might not remember that far back. So I'll go ahead and use it. Uh, I might even get it wrong. At what age do most children in the United States start kindergarten? Two years old, three years old, five years old, seven years old. Isn't it five? Yes. In most states, children must be five years old by August or September to enter kindergarten that academic year. See, my problem was, I think it was my birthday, my birthday's November 3rd. So I missed the September and all that. I don't know. It seems like I was, it seems like I was about six, maybe, when I started. Okay, anyway. Okay, so let's get next question. Okay, well, I don't know. Which of these is a different name for middle school? Elementary. Montessorian. I've never heard of that. Kindergarten. Junior high. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be junior high? Yeah. A middle school, also known as intermediate school, junior high school, junior secondary school, or lower secondary school, is an educational stage between primary school and secondary school. Hmm. Okay, uh, which of these famous universities is situated in Paris? Warwick, Sorbonne, Oxford, Yale. In Paris. I'm not really sure. Uh, the only thing I could say is the only one that sounds uh, French is Sorbonne. <laughs> That's right. <coughs> Sorbonne University is a public research university located in Paris, France. <laughs> uh, the NCAA is an organization that regulates what? Stock car racing, college sports, professional baseball, professional soccer. If you're not up on sports at all, you might not know this. Um, I don't watch a whole lot of it anymore, but it's college sports. Come on. That's right. The National Collegiate... Collegiate... Athletic Association is a member-led organization dedicated to the well-being and lifelong success of college athletes. Okay. Which of these universities is the most expensive one in the UK? King Kingston University, University of Oxford, University of Westmin Westminster, Royal Academy of Music. Hmm. University of Law is the most expensive one. Uh, I, I might be wrong on this one. I'm going to say Oxford. Well, that's right. Uh, the University of Oxford, located in the UK, is the most expensive university in the country with an annual tuition fee of £28,845 uh, for domestic students and £58,000 for international students. Hmm. Okay, seven right, none wrong. What is the abbreviation for a Doctor of Philosophy degree? P PhD? D-P-H-D, D-O-P, D-O-C-P-H, D, Dr. Oakfoss. I'm really not sure about this, 
DOP sounds right, but is that really it? pH. I'm going to say PhD. That's right. A PhD is a degree awarded to people who have done advanced research into a particular subject. What is the speed limit for cars around schools in most U.S. states? Between 30 and 35 mile per hour, between 35 and 45 mile per hour, between 15 and 25 mile per hour, between 25 and 30 mile per hour around schools I would say 15 to, and 25 yeah uh, that's it school zones are put in place to ensure, ensure the safety of children in and around schools uh, a typical school zone is a speed limit in most states is between 15 and 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted one more in which Connecticut city is Yale University, Milford, Norwalk, Stamford, New Haven? I think it's Stamford. No, it's New Haven. I had to miss the last one, didn't I? <laughs> it's New Haven. Yale University is a private Ivy League research university in New Haven, Connecticut. So I ended up with nine right and one wrong. I choked on the very last one. But now I know Yale is in New Haven. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as I come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And check out the Kroger Hall later on today. And we'll have Logan's Austin Snack Reviews on Sunday. Bye, everyone, and God bless.